What's going on guys? Jake Adams back in the studio and I have a couple fellow reef builders who came to visit me. Scott Anderson of Mile High Reefers. Somebody, somebody, somebody. <laughs> and Orlando of Aquamedic Live. So um, tell them a little bit about your company, just real quick. We'll come back around to it. Wholesale coral out of Loveland, Colorado. So we bring coral in from the world's oceans and we sell it wholesale to store. We uh, import and distribute goods for the aquarium trade. People might know like our eco drifts and our eco skimmers and stuff like that. But most importantly, these are a couple of reefing homies and they've come today um, to bring me a couple corals, but also to help me unbox some fresh frags from Worldwide Corals. Now you guys actually sell Worldwide Corals uh, to the local stores, right? Correct, yep, we are redistributing we Worldwide Corals. So I actually didn't know that um, Worldwide sold corals to wholesalers until I saw it at your place. Yep, they right? do. Yeah. So this is actually, I think, a pretty cool experience because you'll get to see the, the frags that were handpicked for me by Victor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm actually pretty excited. I have my boy Scott handling the camera because, you know, I want to get a different angle on this compared to yesterday. It was, you know, kind of fixed. So let's see, check the temperature. I put some water in here from from the main tank earlier, just so I have more water to work with. And we're actually gonna do something a little tricky with this water once I'm done. But, time to open up the box. So if you haven't received one of these gorgeous blue boxes from Worldwide Corals Man, seeing these show up at your doorstep is quite a treat. Do your boxes come like this? Yes, they do, they oh. come just like that. All right, very, very nice. Once again, I'm never in a hurry to put the frags out. You know, I just want to get everything done first, then come back around and like, you know, clean it up. Oh, yeah. What do we got here? Swag pack. Ooh, and got acclimation instructions. So this is, this is kind of cool. Probably really useful for some folks. Ooh, they even got the custom tape. Ooh, look, there's some swag inside. Got a towel. Oh, it's still warm. I can still feel the warmth from the heat pack. So we've got a towel, pen. Cool, well there's a nice little swag pack inside. And looks like we have a Worldwide Corals t-shirt that I can add to my growing collection. <laughs> I think I have every single color. All right, okay, now we're getting down to the brass tacks. You wanna bring it in here, see what we got? Look at that, expertly packed. Ooh, I see a, a kind of bigger bag. Just for posterity, I am going to check the water temperature and here it's right at 80 degrees, which is what the system is at. And in the bag, it's right at 75. So normally your reef tank runs 77, 78. And I did not open these first thing this morning, but they're already they're still like a perfect temperature. But now, now I can't wait to see what was handpicked for the Reef Builder Studio. A bunch of frags. You wanna bring it in here, take a look at these. Some sticks, some zoanthids. Yeah, and just a nice little varied assortment. Yeah, it's super challenging to like get us exposed and to get the, uh, the the corals and the color and the intensity and everything at the same time. I think I'm just going to take a moment to uh, put together a small little frag rack so I can keep these all um, in place and then we'll come back around to uh, let these all out. All right, well that was fast. I thought I was gonna go have to find some egg crate and a couple risers and put something together. And then I remember something really cool I picked up at the hydro shop. It's a little planter riser that has, I think it has more than enough uh, frag plug spaces. So this is pretty cool, man. I got this at the hydroponic shop. You can use it as frag rack or you can use it as a, as a riser for your protein skimmer if you just need to save a few inches. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and use this. It's funny, I love that this part of the hobby, man. Just like, like hacking stuff together a little bit. And uh, time to open up some corals. I have, again, I have no idea what he sent. I have no idea what's in here. I just knew there's, no, there's some variety. Eh? All 
All right, so I got the Worldwide Corals frags out of the box and uh, Scott and Orlando are checking out the goods and we're just giving it a little bit of time to open up. But once again, I did not have any clue what was selected for me. So um, we have a diversity of corals. Um, really cool to see some acros because my system is just now really starting to uh, uh, be able to handle it. And some zoanthids. You know, I don't have nearly enough zoanthids in the system, um, but I'm pretty excited about a few of these because I know these Montes are going to have, or they're going to be a good time. A nice little spathulata. It's kind of like a thick branched uh, millipore right there. It only comes from Australia. This one's rainbow colored, so I want to make sure to give that a whole ton of love. This looks like a Monopora palawanensis here that's going to color up real nice for me. And I really hope that that's the long polyp leather that I've seen at uh, Worldwide before. How is this compared to um, what you guys uh, usually see from them? Um, this is usually our ultra yeah, package. Is, yeah. yeah, this is very similar to what we get. Yeah. You have a, a couple of rarities in there. I haven't seen the orange money with the yellow polyps yet. That's, that's what I need. Yeah, I like that. That's what you need? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a money fan. That's well, maybe that's your chip right there that <laughs> fell in the middle. Do you see that right oh, there? Oh, yeah, there it is. Maybe that's the same for you. <laughs> you got an in interstellar shroom. That, yeah, dude, this little, uh, this little riser here totally worked out great. I want these. Those Which, are badass, the red. <laughs> <laughs> you really like that, huh? Yeah. It is. It's awesome. Very nice. <laughs> so if you uh, if you were um, we were going to take one frag home, which one would it be? For you, it would be the yellow polyp monty. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Orange and yellow. Very nice. And you? Interstellar mushrooms. You like? You get those. We do get those, but I always sell them off. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah. Now, it, what, so what's cool about the interstellar shrooms is they're actually um, at least two or three varieties. I don't know if you've seen them, but in Australia, you find them in um, orange spots, yeah. and you find them in pink spots. And very rarely you see them both orange spotted and pink spotted. Very cool. Yeah, I mean, Australia, man, you guys got to come next time. It's so cool. <laughs> it's we so want cool. To believe you. Absolutely. It's so cool. So yeah, we literally have a nice platter of corals from Worldwide Corals. Thank you, Victor. Thank you, Victor. Love the corals. We're. Um, I also want to show you a couple of corals that Aquamedic brought to me. This is kind of a standard thick branching uh, pasilopora that I'm going to turn into a bright fuchsia piece of work, and then a really, really freaking neat. Um, uh, uh, mini scully. This guy, when he opens up, he actually looks like a miniature uh, acanthophilia. But um, you guys said he came from Monsoon, right? Yeah, yeah. so he's Croc Island. So he's a Croc Island. So he's Croc just like a neon green spotted little guy. Yep. And they just swim through Crocs to get that guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, we're going to put these away into the coral system. And uh, I think it's just going to revisit them in a few days, see how they look, like get, them, get them organized, get them polyped out. So I will catch you guys in a um, Few forty eight hours. <laughs> <laughs>it's been a couple weeks since I received the frags from Worldwide Corals and it was a really fun package to uh, uh, send me a diversity of corals to test out in the new coral flat. So this uh, particular really shallow aquarium has been set up for I want to say just under two months, maybe six or seven weeks. And I've, you know, I've kind of skirted a lot of the algaes and figured out where the corals need to go. And um, now that I've gotten to know the corals a little bit better, I uh, would like to take you on a small tour to show you what I got. I can't show you them all because uh, some of them have just kind of like been spread all around. Um, but I'm gonna show you some of my favorite frags that I got from Worldwide Corals in that most recent shipment. Before I focus in on the dedicated frag section, I just want to give you a nice little overview of the coral flat and how it's coming along. You've got a wide diversity of colonies, clams, SPS, LPS, not too much on the softies yet. And there's a big uh, Micromusa Lord section, Ghanies, most of the Euphilia are over there. Moon corals, there's bubble tips in the basket in the back. And I'm gonna give you guys a lot more of that in the future. But for now, let's take a look at my frag rack. And right there in the middle, kind of uh, loosely organized, are the, uh, the Worldwide Corals frags. These things totally, totally pop. 100% um, cultured corals. I've got the, uh, got the acros right there on that front row closest to the light. Then a row of Montes. 
but um, I actually have a lot of on so I'm actually pretty Yeah, there's a there's an overview of the uh, uh, Worldwide Corals uh, frag pack that I received. Some really really good looking stuff and a huge diversity. So I'm really going to be able to to test out um, not the limits, but you know just like what this uh, whole uh, aquarium system is capable of. But this rack of corals is doing really really well. Again, it's a super challenge to try to get all the LPS, SPS, soft corals doing super hot. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the second unboxing of coral frags here at the studio. This time it's from Worldwide Corals, and I have some really fun, exciting corals to grow out. Um, this coral frag tank is coming along really, really well, and it's gonna be a really important uh, component to the Reef Builder Studio here in the near future. Uh, the eagle-eyed viewers will uh, notice a lot of changes, a lot of growth, a lot of new installments here at the studio. I am uh, still grinding away, and I think I owe you guys an updated video very, very soon. I just didn't want to come back with another progress video without a lot to show for it. So, um, we are getting closer and closer to having a nice livestock display. I cannot wait till I have one full-blown reef tank in here, minus a little nano, which is gonna get its own update very soon. So thank you to everybody for tuning in. I'm having a blast. I'm really enjoying sharing these videos with you guys. So I will come back at you with another video very soon. All right, guys, peace.